We don't even have to say alcoholic. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm straight. But nobody cares. <laughs> my mother and father were like the funniest people I ever met. My mom said to my dad in the living room one time, you're lucky I have a bad memory or you wouldn't still be sitting here. <laughs> you know, women sometimes say they're turning into their mother. I, slowly but surely, am turning into my father. <laughs> His mannerisms, everything. And these are things I've said myself. Hey, while you're doing nothing, get me a beer. <laughs> or shh, while I'm telling them something important. Golf is on. <laughs> What do you actually think? My speaking is going to fuck up the golfer's swing? <laughs> my mother and father, you know, when I was young, they came to my brother and I and they said they're getting a divorce. And all the kids in the neighborhood were like, oh my God, you know, when their parents were getting divorced, it was an awful thing. My brother and I, we looked at each other and we said, you mean the state police aren't going to come in the middle of the night and get dad? <laughs> you mean dad's not going to break mom's other hand? <laughs> We're going to have two Christmases? <laughs> Go right ahead! <laughs> My mother told me years ago, never get married, so I never did. <laughs> Go figure. I had a girlfriend years ago, she was so excited, you know, all fucking pink and bows and shit. Oops, I'm gonna get married, right? And immediately I had this like pit in my stomach and I'm thinking, God, I feel like sending the soon-to-be groom a condolences card. <laughs> Signed, your freedom. <laughs> because what she lacked in personality and self-esteem, she more than made up in the looks department. She was a beautiful girl. And he always said he was a sucker for a pretty face. He was a sucker, right? Because that pretty face took him for every dime he had. <laughs> Can anybody relate? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, girls like that, they get to do the demo. And then I gotta rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> like an emotional carpenter. <laughs> you know, they say 40's the new 20, you look great at 40. Really? What's 40 supposed to look like? <laughs> you know? They're hanging out at the grocery store too long. <laughs> Jesus. You know, it's not easy dating. Somebody mentioned on Tinder. Okay, Cupid. A lot of young guys here tonight. Welcome. I think of the stupidest shit. I was thinking of like, you know, I went out one night and I met this guy, and I love Marines. My dad was a Marine. This guy did two tours in Afghanistan. I was like, you want to do another one in my apartment tonight? <laughs> woman, right? She's getting helped across the street by this young, cute guy. And I'm like, that's a fucking great gimmick. Hey, can you help an old lady across the street? You know, I don't know. Truth or myth? White people can't dance. No, it's a myth. I personally... I've been watching MTV since the 1990s. Don't you think I'd be able to move all this by now? <laughs> Gotta get out of our houses, away from people that look just like us with other cultures. Yo, this planet can dance. That's all I got. Good night, guys. <laughs>